Hey guys, I thought I'd show you how to upgrade and take apart your iMac G3. Um, for this, um, it'll show you how to upgrade the hard drive, the RAM, and logic board, and um, CD DV drive. But really, you can't upgrade the CD drive just because they don't make them no more. There is one company that does make them. Um, the name slipped my mind, but um, there is one company that makes them, but it's kind of expensive and it's not really that worth. It's not really worth it. So for this, you'll need a, a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver, big or small, doesn't matter. You just need the flathead for one little part. And all right, so let's start. Right here, you'll see um, holes right here in the back of the the iMac. Right here, you'll um. Slip in your flathead, and that's all you need for your flathead. If you just want to upgrade the RAM, then all you have to do is use your flathead again. A little thing up here at the top, and it'll sh it should be marked to lock. Let me get the camera so you can see a little better. Okay, right here, switch to unlock, and then take it up. There you can access the RAM. And you can see a little bit of the hard drive, a little bit of the logic board, but there's where you can upgrade your RAM. Now, moving on. Okay, switch it back to lock. Now you'll need to take off these two these two screws. You don't have to take off the ones inside, that's for the case inside. You just want to take out the outer case. So we get our our screwdriver. that and after a, a while after um if you have to take them off if you have to take this thing apart over and over you start to get used to it and it starts to get easier okay now after these screws are out you'll have to remove two other screws at the top right here one right here one right here but I've unfortunately I've lost a few of my screws so I don't have to do that no more okay now after you've done that, you you have to lift the case from the bottom, down here. And if your iMac hasn't been open yet, or it's been open a, f a couple of times, you might hear a plastic sound, like plastic breaking, like that. And it does no damage to the outer case. It's just a little click or a pop that means that the case came off. So really, the sound of plastic breaking in this case is good. Unless you actually broke the plastic. <laughs> okay, now you have this metal case. And this is covering, you can still access the RAM from right here. It's covering the logic board, basically. You'll have screws running around the side. In here. In here. Back there. And back there. All you gotta do is move those screws. They're really small little screws. And I don't so all you gotta do, and it's it's really good to use. Um, I I recommend using a magnetized screwdriver, only because the screws can fall inside into the inner parts of the iMac, and it would be almost impossible to get out unless you take off the whole entire thing. So I've lost a few screws to my iMac before, but I have replaced them. Okay. And it's only it's only four screws you have to take out, and then up here you have two other screws to remove. There'll be you just have to remove this one right here and this one right here, and that's from the case. These two right here go to the hard drive. Only if you wanted to upgrade the hard drive in any way. So after you do that, all you gotta do is pull up on this little handle. Okay, and then you gotta take it out because there's a VGA port depending on what iMac you have, and you have to lift it up and take it out. And there's your second outer case. Set that down. Okay, now you can see here that we've entered the inside of the iMac. Here we have our logic board. I have two. You have two sockets for 168 pin um, RAM, SD RAM. You have your hard drive here. And then under the hard drive, you have your CD drive. Okay, everything looks okay in here, of course. Now, to 
some of you may or may not do, know how to take off the RAM and the hard drive and everything, but I'll show you even if you don't ha know how to. For the RAM, all you gotta do is there'll be a little two, one latch here and another latch on the opposite side and directly across it, and that's how you take out your little your RAM. Okay. To put it back in, you have to make sure you have to make sure that the um, the pins match with the socket because if not, you can mess it up. Okay. All you gotta do is push into your here, click, or you see the latch close. There you go. And for the hard drive, you have you can only put um, one hard drive in here unless it's the external hard drive. And for this, you have to take off the power supply and your information socket thing. Um, and you may have to take off the RAM because the hard drive may not come out if there's a big stick of RAM blocking the way. And um, of course, you can you, to uh, replace the logic board. You have to remove key screws. One here, one back here, one here, one there, and one right here, which is missing. And that's how you take off basically the outer layers and get into the inner parts of the iMac. So, um, okay, I don't know if you can see me there. So basically, that's what you have to do to take it apart. And when you want to look for, it's really easy to find SD RAM for the for these types of computers. Uh, hard drives are easy to find. If you want to run a good OS on it, like OS X 10.4, um, you want to get maybe an 80 gigabyte hard drive, which is pretty small still compared to our 500 today. Um, because when these came out in when the slot loading machines came out in 1999, um, they had 10 gigabytes of storage and maybe 64 megabytes of RAM, depending on which one you bought. Um, then, if you want to run a good OS, you need to have at least 256 megabytes. So I recommend having at least maybe a gigabyte, because that's how much they, as as far as they can handle, 1.5 or 1 gigabyte of SD RAM. And to do that, you'll probably need about, you need a 512 stick plus a 512 stick. Okay, and um, for a hard drive, I recommend getting an 80 gigabyte hard drive. Like I said, CD drive, it's you can't find those anywhere. Apple made a specific type of CD drive, which you really can't replace or anything. Uh, later on, Apple, when they came out with the PowerPC, then you could replace it and everything but the iMac was original and you couldn't replace the CD drive but there is a company that does make them still I'm not sure if currently right now but I know there is one out there uh, I for, they at least cost I think a hundred bucks I recommend getting an external um, CD DVD drive you know like it's not it's not really that worth it's not worth it if you want to spend a hundred dollars on one you can replace when you can just get an external one that's state of the art and everything so I guess that's it for upgrading it. Um, I think you guys are already set on how to do software updates, you know, um, like installing Mac OS and getting an OS started on there. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna be making another video or not. Maybe a Power Mac video. I think I'm gonna be getting another Power Mac um, tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna head down to my dad told me in a recycling center that they have a, a Power Mac for sale. So I want to see it and. Um, See if I can buy them for like a good deal and everything. Fix it up, maybe, maybe um keep it for my collection and all that, and maybe maybe maybe, maybe make a little video about it. Um, well that's it for me right now. But um, I hope I see you guys soon, and I'll be coming out with more videos. You'll, see, you'll be seeing more of me, more of Apple, and more computers. Thank you.